The flesh versus the spirit. Galatians 5, verse 16 to 18. But I say, walk by the spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the spirit, and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to keep you from doing the things you want to do. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. So what does it mean to walk by the Spirit or to gratify the flesh? Also, what does it mean to be under the law? Let's take a look. Paul is telling the Galatians, that you are either being led by the Spirit, which leads to obeying the Torah, or that you're either obeying the flesh, which leads to sin. To be led by the Spirit, or walk in the Spirit, is to obey Yahweh, obey His Torah. For His Torah teaches you to love. Leviticus 19 verse 18 you shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am Yahweh. Paul expounds on the word love found in Leviticus and calls it the fruits of the Spirit. Galatians 5 verse 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Now, the desire of the flesh is to practice disobedience of the Torah. Romans 7, 5. For while we were in the flesh, the sinful passions which were aroused by the law were at work in the members of our body to bear fruit for death. Paul shows a list of examples of how one is giving in to the desires of the flesh. Galatians 5, 19-21 Now the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. Well, what commands you to not commit adultery, or sorcery, or sexual immorality? The Torah. So if you are not led by the Spirit to keep the Torah, then you are being led by the flesh to break Torah. So now for verse 18. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. If you are led by the Spirit, then you are keeping Torah and are not condemned or guilty of practicing sin, breaking Torah. But if you are in the flesh, ruled by the flesh, then you are practicing a lifestyle of sin, which means you are in condemnation of the law, which is what it means to be under the law to be condemned by the law. So again, if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Verse 18 is not saying that if you are in the Spirit, then you don't need to keep the law, which is a common interpretation by Sunday Christianity. The desires of the flesh is not the law. For Scripture says, the law is good, the law is spiritual. The law is wisdom, holiness, and truth. Psalm 19, verse 7. The law of Yahweh is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of Yahweh are sure, making wise the simple. Romans seven fourteen, For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. So Paul is saying, if you are led by the Spirit, you will keep the law, which tells you to love your neighbor and love Yahweh. And if you are in the flesh, you are breaking the law and living in sin, not loving your neighbor or Yahweh. Again, let's look at the Torah. Leviticus 19, verse 34. The stranger who resides with you shall be to you as the native among you, and you shall love him as yourself, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh, 
your Elohim. I have made a seven video series going chapter by chapter on the book of Galatians, running through it to give the proper context. I hope you can check it out if you haven't already. Please share and subscribe if you're enjoying this channel. Thank you and Shalom.